I am in the town of Lolita where I'm about to explore an abandoned old railroad tunnel that was originally constructed around 140 years ago. Oh, and I won't be going alone because joining me will be none other than local nature and science columnist, Barry Evans. And there he is right now, Barry, over here. Well, fancy seeing you here, right? <laughs> Thanks so much Thank for being here, Barry. Yeah, you know, the only reason I ever wanted to take this walk was because I read about it in The Humbug, which you wrote. Well, the book is a bit of everything. It's a bit of geography, history, fauna, flora, and hikes. Mm. And what you've invited me to do today is to go on a hike that combines a lot of Humboldt County history. It's oh. fascinating history here. Well, I am really looking forward to hearing about history from you about the Lolita Tunnel. So, what well, do you see? We're going to be walking down the uh, tracks here. We All right, go? let's go. Hey, I'll carry the pack since hey. you're, you're a guest. Yeah, I know. Of oh. mine. Thanks for joining oh, man, me. Man, that's a heavy pack. Too, yeah. <laughs> we can do it. Okay, right. let's All go. Right. I'll follow you. This way. We've just barely begun and we've already encountered some really nice scenery. There's a there's a pond below us on the left side. So Barry, why are there railroad tracks here? Well, this was back in the 1880s mm -hmm. and Pacific Lumber had gotten the rights, and there was a bunch of backroom deals in Sacramento, they'd gotten the rights to thousands of acres of prime redwood in the Eel River Valley back there. But their market for the redwood was down south in San Francisco, and to get it to San Francisco, you gotta get it from the Eel to the harbor where the, the boats can come in, and that's Humboldt Bay. So they decided they would run a, a railroad from the Eel River Valley up to south end of Humboldt Bay. Now between the Eel River Valley and the bay, there's a 300 foot sandstone ridge, Table Bluff or Eel River, River Ridge it's called. So they couldn't go around. Uh -huh. They couldn't go over the, the, the top. What are you, you going to do? Yeah. You go through it. Oh. And this was what the uh, timber barons of the, of the age, William Carson, John Vance, Captain Booner, they formed a, a company to put a, a railroad between Eel River and Humble Bay. Wow, okay, well let's go plan. look at that tunnel now. That's oh. Barry said this trail has overgrown tremendously since he was last year, three years ago. It appears that this trail is no longer maintained. And there's uh, logs blocking parts of the trail. Some areas, trees have fallen across. There's even some landslide areas. But uh, Barry and I are gonna keep forging ahead on this trail.
So here we are, Ray. This is the southwest portal of the Lolita Tunnel. Uh, it's a third of a mile. It's going three, under this 300-foot sandstone ridge. They had crews working night and day. They, uh, it took them 18 months working at about four feet a day. So by the summer of 1884, they had created this whole tunnel, and this was part of the 25-mile track between Eureka and near Hydesville. And then they built a spur down to what would become the Scotia Pacific Lumber uh, Mill down there in, uh, in Scotia. And so they immediately started running rails through here in 1884. Is there anything I should be concerned about when I'm going there? I should watch well, for Well, last time I was here was three years ago, so we're going to have to, to find out if anything has happened in the last three years. But nah, it's fine. It's just a railroad. All right, well, I'm game. Yeah. Let's go for it, Barry. All right, buddy. Yeah. All right. Here it is, the Lolita Tunnel. Yeah, it's a little bit spooky in here. Um, the air is cool. I could see the light at the far end of the tunnel. And it, it's wet in here. I'm glad that I have boots on for this. Oh, and Barry found that there's another little gate across the tracks, but we can easily go around those. Let's keep going in deeper. Wow. So Ray, here we are, right about at the midpoint of the, the tunnel. So we're about a sixth of a mile in, another sixth of a mile to go. And the tunnel is, uh, it's concrete lined, as you see. I suspect what happened was uh, when they originally built this thing in the 1880s, they just left bare, bare rock. Uh, yeah. But there was a major renovation done in, I believe, 1960. They extended the uh, southwest portal, and I suspect that's when they, they did the concrete lining here. Mm -hmm. So we are standing here, it's about 220 feet, right above our heads is 101. Mm -hmm. And the, the irony of course is that it was the road that preceded 101 that really put an end to the, the passenger service. But the, the freight and lumber and so on, that carried on. So between the top of this tunnel and the, and the freeway, it's just solid sandstone. Exactly, yeah. Sandstone is uh, it's a good material to tunnel through. Yeah. You, you don't have to keep shoring it. I think it's magnificent that they did this in 18 months. This is a great adventure, by the way. I'm, I'm really having a great time. Thank oh, you so, so much for taking me on this. You betcha. All right, let's go. You know what, Ray? Um, this has changed since last time I was here. I'm not sure uh, it's really worth going right to the uh, to the, the portal here. Because that's going to be we're going to be in a couple of feet of uh, water. We just had had some rain. That's why this yeah. is, is so deep. Sh should we cut our losses and say this is, this is the end of our hike here? Slosh, slosh, slosh. Okay. Man, that was a blast, Barry. I'm glad you enjoyed it. 
Oh so, man, Barry, I had such a great time. What an well, exciting adventure um, that was. Sorry about the strategic retreat. Yeah. So um, this, the story of this is, was active from 1884, wildly successful. It ran as uh, just this local 25 mile Eureka to Hydesville until 1914. It became a part of a much larger 271 miles from Eureka all the way to San Francisco. It was part of the Northwestern Pacific Railroad. The freight carried on right until 1998 huge washouts after a storm in the Eel River. That was the end of this railroad. And that's why to, to this day we have four locomotives marooned up in Eureka. So after 1998, was this rail used for anything else? The Timber Heritage Association, they had a, a speeder every, every summer oh. from Lolita up, up to here. Uh, then there was a washout four or five years ago. Uh, they haven't repaired that. I don't think they're going to be doing okay. that in, anymore. But we will never see trains through yeah. here again. It might be starting to rain, so we probably should head back, you know. You mean I, I can go, go back and and get dry, dry shoes now back here. Well, your shoes are going to dry out unless it rains on us on the way back. Uh, and then they're going to, then your whole, everything will, will all get soaking wet. All right, wet. so we have a, a mile down the uh, track. Yeah, but you go, know, so. in the rain, that's one of the hazards of being in Humboldt outdoors, you know. Yeah. Say it again. Humboldt outdoors. You, you like that? Damn, it has a ring to it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, Humboldt. Yeah, someone should, anyway. Yeah, we should do that. All right, let's go all enjoy right, our come. time in Humboldt. Outdoors. Humboldt, <laughs> outdoors. All right, Barry. I'm a rolling stone bound to roll. Be gone. Or in rain, wanna oh, hear that train? There she comes. Just get home. 